Watch face not compatible with series 6. But, but I just bought this watch. You got five burning, five burning right there in your eyes. So when you got What's going on guys, Kelvin here and welcome to 320 Tech. Apple's California streaming event just passed and during this event they announced the brand new iPad and iPad mini, the brand new iPhone 13, 13 Pro and Pro Max and last but not least the brand new Apple Watch Series 7. Over the next few weeks I'll be pre-ordering the Apple Watch Series 7. Once that arrives I'll be making brand new videos on my hands-on full review tips and tricks and so much more. So make sure that you guys give this video a thumbs up and subscribe so you don't miss out on those upcoming videos. But enough about all those things in case you guys didn't know, Apple has announced four brand new watch faces for the Apple Watch. These include Modular Max, World Timer, Nike Bounce and Contour Faces. And just like all Apple Watch events, I and hopefully you are most excited about these brand new Apple Watch faces. And even though these watch faces are great, there's one small problem. Two out of the four watch faces are only available on the Series 7 Apple Watch. And what I mean by this is the World Timer and Nike Bounce are both available from the Series 4 to the Series 7, including the SE. But the Modular Max and the Contour Faces are exclusive to the Apple Watch Series 7. Meaning if you guys don't buy the brand new Apple Watch Series 7, you'll never be able to use these brand new watch faces. Until now. In today's video, I wanna show you guys how to install the exclusive Contour Faces watch face on your older Apple Watch. Now, massive disclaimer. This video will only show you guys how to install the Contour Faces watch face, not the Modular Max one. Got it? All right, let's go. Now, the very first thing that you guys wanna do is go to the Apple Watch App Store. Once you're there, search for an app called Clockology. Once you find Clockology in the App Store, press install. Now, here's the important part. You wanna make sure that Clockology is installed on both your iPhone and your Apple Watch. If it's not installed on your Apple Watch, go to the Watch app on your iPhone, scroll down until you see Clockology, and then press install. Awesome. Once that's done, go to the Clockology app on your iPhone. Before you're able to sync any watch faces, you must first download and sync the beta file. I'll put a link over here to show you guys exactly how to sync the beta file. If you haven't synced the beta file, pause the video right now and do that first. Believe me, this process will not work unless the beta file is synced successfully. To help you guys out, I've also linked the beta file down below. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up to say thanks. Once you've synced the beta file and see the pink beta logo on your watch, you're ready to go. Next up, download the contour faces file that I've linked below. Press download and then download and then select Clockology. Awesome. Now here's the really important part. From here, long hold onto the file and then press watch sync. Now this next part is really important. In order for this file to sync successfully, Clockology must be open and the screen must be turned on. Once Clockology is open and the screen is on for your Apple Watch, press sync. And there you guys go. One thing that I do wanna mention is, if you've tried syncing multiple times and nothing happens, try giving your iPhone and Apple Watch a quick restart. Once you have given both your iPhone and Apple Watch a quick restart, try syncing again. Doing this will fix most problems that you guys experience. And that's it. Now, you guys are able to experience the beautiful and exclusive contour watch face without having to spend a single cent on the Apple Watch Series 7. I mean, it's a beautiful watch face and now you guys are able to experience it free of charge. If you appreciate me making this video for you guys, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys wanna see some more Apple Watch videos in the future. Anyways, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.